It's a great opportunity for us. We're really excited to be hosting the Atlantic 10 Championships for the first time here at the University of Richmond. It's uh, you know just a great opportunity. Pole Green Park and the Hanover County folks are, are fantastic to work with. They've got a great, great course. And to have the A10 Championship here is definitely huge. Um, it puts our name out there. It definitely draws more attention to us. Um, and I think that being a small school, that can be hard, but uh, having the A10 Championship here and um, I think that we're going to do amazing there. It's definitely going to help us with recruiting and in future years I think that it's going to help our team uh, become more of a, a powerhouse in the running community. I think the fact that it's at home gives us a nice advantage because we get um, hopefully a lot of alumni, a lot of people from the school will um, turn out and cheer us on. So I think just the excitement from that will give us a nice little boost for the race. There's definitely a home course advantage. We know every nook and cranny. We know where the dips are. We know where the potholes are. Um, we know which turns are hard to do with a crowd around you. So those little aspects are definitely going to come in handy. It's not a traditional kind of East Coast, Northeast cross country course. A lot of courses around here are very hilly. That course is very flat and very fast, so it really plays to kind of what we've been focusing on a lot this year is that we've been focusing on speed and getting that last like half mile as fast as we can because it's going to be a very close finish, I think. There's not going to be too much separation throughout the race. I think this year in particular, it's pretty wide open. There's uh, some good teams in the conference, LaSalle, St. Joe's. They're always strong teams historically, but I think Having our home course advantage and being able to utilize the knowledge that we have out there, I think we can really, it's going to come down to the wire, I think. So it's going to be a close race any way you put it, and we just have to go out there and perform the way that we know we can. It's going to be a battle between for who is the best team, and that one to five split, uh, who can run the closest. And uh, we've got girls running really well up front. You know, our the thing we've worked on all season is really pulling in our fourth and fifth girl closer to our top three if we can do that we've got the you know we've got the people to do that if we can make that happen this weekend then um, you know we hope to be that best team this weekend